Hi y'all, what is up? Welcome to Healthy Girl Summer 2022 with me, your host, Caitlin, aka this is my channel. So welcome if you're new here. My name is Caitlin. And if you're not, welcome back. I'm so happy that you're here either way. We're just sitting next to my pretty little plant and we're gonna get right into things, but I kind of wanted to bring you into why I wanna make this video in the first place. I didn't have like, it wasn't on my radar. It wasn't like, ooh, I'm gonna make this really cool aesthetic healthy girl summer as much as i love watching really freaking cute aesthetic healthy girl summers and getting inspiration from that mine came from a place of waking up every day this week feeling like crap like waking up feeling like i got hit by a bus breaking out all around my mouth and just not feeling my best so after about probably the second day i kind of just had this moment where i felt honestly really empowered and i'm like you know what I know what makes me feel good and I know the things that I need to do that really help me. I just need to implement them consistently. So that's what this video is about. I am going to try my absolute hardest to make this really aesthetically pleasing because we all love a good aesthetic. But let me just tell you, my apartment has terrible lighting and it's not that aesthetic. So aside from that, I really hope to give you some really practical things, most of them being free, that make such a big difference, at least in my life and I know in my husband's life. So I'm gonna just bring you in on some of those things and I hope that you can take them and implement them yourself or take them and make them your own because we're all different you know your body best so without further ado let's get right into it oh and before i forget lol make sure you subscribe i post new videos every single week so we are having a good time here we're partying we have skincare fashion lifestyle and all everything in between so don't miss out join the party and let's get right into it now first i'm going to show you a little grocery haul because obviously food plays a big part in this so i'm going to show you what we got last night and then everything that we do with all this stuff all right so we're going to do a quick haul um we got some organic tomatoes organic cucumber these are organic sweet potatoes as well as organic peppers these are like the small sweet ones and then these are just the bell peppers some chomps these are so good if you never had these they are um always just like zero sugar very simple ingredients grass-fed or free range whatever the meat is um and it's just a great snack some organic carrots some radishes of course i had to get some olipop i got some stuff to make a smoothie um i really don't do well with a lot of dairy so i got this coconut milk yogurt i don't love the ingredients but they didn't have another option so it is what it is you can't win them all um this new zest clean lean protein little sippers edition um it has pro probiotics and stuff so this is just a great brand of protein i really like this stuff that's for my smoothie some spinach and arugula i always say the word wrong so if that's wrong my husband's probably laughing and just mind your own business okay and then this organic coconut milk um I, again just really clean ingredients it's literally just organic coconut milk and water um i got this for my matcha and for my smoothies i got matcha um i'll explain in a second why i got matcha instead of coffee um i'm gonna make some like loaded salads for lunch so these olives um wild blueberries some coconut butter which will be part of my smoothies this is a really good brand um i got this dressing for my salads i got this probiotic um sour okay maybe i should actually put it in the frame i got this probiotic you know obviously it's raw and fermented sauerkraut um i got the red beet and cabbage one so i'm excited to add that to my salad an onion, some avocados, a pineapple for a dish that I will show you, some hemp hearts for the dish that I'm going to show you with this, but then also my salad. Asher got some pickles. I got these because I like to snack on them. And I got some lemons and limes for my lemon water and limes for the dishes that I'm making. So that is it. We got lots of stuff and I'm super excited to show you all everything we make with this. I'm sore, so let's hope I can get back up off this ground. Okay, so one of the major things that I do when I'm not feeling great, if I haven't already been doing it, I try to do this all the time, like often as much as I can throughout the week, is go on long walks. I love to go on long walks in nature, and I like to go in the morning. Um, I think that if you can get out and go on a walk at any point in the day, it is definitely highly beneficial. But if you can start your day with a long walk, I feel like it's even better. Like I said, if you can't go in the morning, it's not a big deal. Walks in general, moving your body in general is great. But I like to go in the morning because I like 
one of the first things that I do to be getting vitamin D, getting movement. I feel like it really just helps set the tone for my day as well as it kind of helps me like mentally process and kind of get my mind going and set intentions for the day. There's just so many different good things about it. So I love to go on walks. I've been doing this every day this week and I'm just like a few days in and it's already made such a big difference. I just swear by these. If you've never given walks a chance, this is your sign, it really is, it's a game changer for me. So I'm getting ready to go on my walk. And before I do, I wanted to tell you about my big old freaking water bottle. So let me just tell you this, this also is a game changer. I'll just say everything that I'm gonna be telling you, I feel like everything's such a game changer, hence why I'm doing it to make myself feel better. Obviously staying hydrated is a given. And so I am so passionate about this water bottle. Because if you struggle with drinking water, I would really encourage you, I got this off Amazon, I can link it below, get something that you don't have to fill up all the time because I found that it is much harder for me to keep drinking water when I like get a cup, I drink a water, maybe I drink all of it and then I'm like, oh, I'll get some more in a second and then hours go by and I'm like, why am I so thirsty? Why am I so dehydrated? This, it's really not that bad to carry. Like when it's completely full, it is a little bit heavy, but seriously, like, it's really not that bad right now. So I like to get this, it comes with a straw, which is also a really big game changer for me because it's just, because it is a little bit heavier, I don't have to worry about like lifting it like that. I can just drink it right here. You also can take the straw out and wash it, which is amazing. And then in my water, this is also really easy to do and makes such a big difference. So I like to add minerals and lemon to my water. The minerals that I get, as you can see right here, it's literally, I think, just $15 from Sprout and it lasts forever. Like, you only need a few drops in it a day, as well as this Celtic sea salt. So, I had about 25 drops of the minerals in here for this big water bottle. It does have a taste to it. So, I'd recommend doing it with lemon and kind of dilute it quite a bit like I do. Or you could add it in like a smoothie. You can add it into things as well. But I like to add it in my water along with Celtic sea salt, which also has minerals and it's a natural electrolyte. So, I like to add this in my water as well. So, that way I'm not just drinking a bunch of water in vain, essentially. I have electrolytes, I have minerals, and I'm getting deeply hydrated. Then I add the lemon just for flavor and it makes it easier. And... I have been drinking, I drink at least one of these a day, if not more. I usually am done drinking this by 4 p.m. when I'm done with work. Like I'll wake up, I'll start drinking it. I fill it up the night before typically. And then I'm pretty much finished with this thing by like 4 p.m. when I am leaving work. So highly recommend doing small things like that that really add up. So I am back from my walk and I'm going to show you what I make for my first meal or breakfast. I have a few different options, but I'm going to show you first the smoothie that I've been making, which is kind of funny because for the past few years, I've been so uninterested. It could not be more bored of smoothies. So I just haven't had smoothies in like a really long time. I just had such a lack of interest that I couldn't even be bothered by them. But I went to my mom's house this past weekend and we all got a smoothie like when we were out and about. And I was kind of like, hmm, I kind of miss smoothies. So we're back on our smoothie kick and I'm going to show you everything that I put into my smoothie. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna add this coconut milk in here. It is organic, it is dairy-free, and literally the only ingredient, if you know me, I'm all about the ingredients, and the only ingredient is organic coconut milk and water. So we love that. I'm just gonna do a serving size, which is one third cup. I like to put that in there. Next, of course, I'm gonna add a ton of baby spinach. I mean, this is just so good for you. And if you don't like the taste of spinach, this is a great way to put it in something because it really disguises it. You can't taste it at all. Now, I'm also gonna add half of an avocado to get some more healthy fats in there. Just like to squeeze it out. I feel like that's the easiest and cleanest way. Next, I'm gonna add some protein powder. So this is New Zest protein powder. Um, it is probiotic cacao. This is Lil Sipper's edition. If you don't know her, she is on Instagram and she's just really great. This is very, very clean protein, which I love because a lot of proteins that you get out there 
are just full of crap. So it's basically anything these days that unfortunately, so you kind of have to do your research, but this is a good clean brand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two scoops in there. It's a serving size. Next, I'm gonna add some almond butter. This is just almonds. There is no added like oil or anything to it, which I love because again, they get you. Next, I'm gonna add some of these wild blueberries. So these, as you can see, two times the antioxidant activity. So if you can get organic wild blueberries, that's ideal. And this is literally the only sweet thing that I'm gonna put in there. I'm not even gonna put in a ton, um, but I just really mainly want it for the antioxidants. The cacao will kind of give it a chocolatey flavor, um, but other than that, it's really not that sweet, so. And then this is homemade cashew milk that Asher and I made, um, so I'm gonna add some of this in. It's literally just cashews, water, a hint of salt and vanilla extract. All right, and that's it. We're gonna blend this girl up. It's not going to be pretty, I'm not going to lie to you, but it's nutritious. All right, here is the finished smoothie look. Um, as you can see, I really just failed at making it look cute. It's in a janky jar and I got all over the sides, but you know what? The smoothie color isn't even pretty anyways, and this is just real life, and this is what makes me feel good, so cheers. My smoothie doesn't have a ton of like sweet stuff in it. It really just has like those wild blueberries that come with like a lot of antioxidants, and the reason being is that Sugar and I, we broke up. We are no longer together. Um, I am much better off without sugar. Let me just paint a little picture for you. A few years ago, I was absolutely obsessed with sugar. I would spend hours on Pinterest just looking at desserts, looking at things just to look at because I couldn't stop thinking about sugar. Or if I was, you know, at a party or whatever and there was like cookies in the other room, you better believe that I was thinking about those cookies and I was just absolutely obsessed. And maybe you can't relate, maybe you've never been there, but I used to have a really unhealthy relationship with sugar and food in general, but that's a different story. So one of the best things that I have personally done for myself is to wing myself off of sugar and create a diet that helps support that so i just want to say it's not that i never eat sugar when i was editing this i realized that it made it sound like i literally never eat sugar that's not true i do still like and enjoy some sweet things but my relationship with sugar is totally different so I usually go for more clean sugar, like coconut sugar or honey or organic maple syrup. Um, so I like to make, you know, if I'm baking something, I like to use something along those lines. It's also not nearly as much. So I personally now don't really love super sweet things. I don't love super sweet drinks just because my relationship with it is different. So it's just not enjoyable to me anymore. And if I do want something sweet, it's usually a lot less sweet than what I used to go for. And it's in a much smaller quantity. So anyways, enjoy. Listen, I'm not over here advocating for any specific um, eating lifestyle or diet or whatnot, but I'm just telling you behind the scenes of what's happening in my brain and why I choose to eat the way that I choose to eat. So for my first meal, I like to focus on really high quality protein and fat. And listen, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not any of those things, okay? I'm just a gal on YouTube telling you my experience. So I like to focus on high quality protein, high quality fat in the morning specifically. Am I mad at carbs? No. We didn't break up, but I like to focus on eating healthy, high quality carbs in the afternoon and at night. So in the morning, I like to focus on the high quality protein and fat because I feel like it is a more sustainable, clean energy source. So you're not eating carbs or high sugar, high carbs in the morning, your blood sugar spiking and then having that crash. Whereas if you eat, you know, protein and fat, you don't get much of a blood sugar spike. So that's why I like to eat like that in the morning. Now, if you don't like a smoothie, there are other options. Like if you want something savory, I like to eat high quality animal products such as bacon and eggs, add some avocado, hemp seed, you could do sauerkraut, you know, put some seasoning on it, microgreens. Eat. I just like to add a ton of flavors, flavor profiles, and then I'm eating it and I'm feeling satiated, I'm feeling energized. So that's what I like to do. Also, I said that I would mention why I didn't get coffee this time. I'm not mad at coffee. I will never, mark my words, I will never break up with coffee. I love coffee. I might go 
you know, I might have seasons that I don't drink it for specific particular reasons, but no one could ever convince me to have a change of heart about coffee. I think it is God's gift to man. I just love it. I love the ritual of it. I love the smell. I love the taste. I just love everything about it in tangent. But um, I definitely can feel it when my body is like, okay, pump the brakes with coffee because I do love it a lot and I do drink it every day. And it's not uncommon for me to drink more than one cup a day just because I, I just really love everything about it. Um, but I can feel when my body's like pump the brakes and so I want to honor that and I think matcha, you know The best way that I know how to describe it if you don't know Um, is that like here's coffee caffeine giving you energy and here's matcha It's a much more sustainable form of energy that you don't feel so much of a crash with which is what we are here for So i'm gonna give my body a little break from coffee. I still love matcha So i'm gonna be doing matcha just for a little bit until I start to feel back to normal and just a quick little reminder, everything that I'm saying, everyone is different. There is no formula. It's not like we can all go watch one thing on the internet and just go buy all of those things and it makes us feel better. It's really about listening to your body and finding something that works for you. But I do think learning from other people is really cool and a really powerful tool. So you do you and do what makes you feel the best. Also, I forgot to mention, I did want to bring this up because if you struggle with hormonal acne, again, I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not any of those things, okay, guys? So just go with your gut. If I'm saying something, if it resonates with you or if it's something that you haven't done yet and you want to go try it, all power to you. But I find that when I do eat less sugar, when I have like a higher protein fat diet without completely throwing carbs out the window, but using carbs like sweet potatoes and, you know, root vegetables and stuff like that. When I eat in that way, I find that my skin really loves it and also my energy levels really love it. So not throwing carbs out the window, they are just not as big of a priority to me. And if I'm craving something, frick, I'm gonna eat it. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna be like, no, that is not in my plan or whatever. I am gonna eat it. But for the most part, I feel the best eating like this and my skin loves it. So obviously, that's what I'm going for. And the focus for me right now is always just keeping my blood sugar steady. That's when I feel the best. That's when I feel like my energy is so. I don't know what else to say. All right, guys, this is what's going down. I've just meal prepped. Um, I still have a little bit more to do, but I have some cucumbers, radishes. This is also radishes. I'm just gonna, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this and put it in a bowl for tonight, which I'll show you in a second, but then also, I'm gonna use a lot of this for my lunch. So I have these sweet peppers. I'm gonna soak these sweet potatoes, okay, sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes overnight to just get some of the starch out so they won't be so starchy, um, pro tip. And then I have some, bake, I have a baked carrot here. I have a few more in the oven that I'm waiting to get done that I'll have ready to go for lunch and then onion and yeah. Um, I also have things like avocado and I'm just gonna show you what I make for dinner because it's basically gonna be very similar to what I make for lunch. All right, so final look, you can't really see everything, but there is sauteed spinach under here that I just did with like garlic, onion, and lemon juice with like avocado oil. Um, ground, organic ground turkey, and then here's the olives, the carrot, the cucumber, and then I topped it off, obviously all the rest, with hemp seeds, organic coconut aminos. This is so freaking good. And of course, mushroom seasoning. I put this on everything and pretty much coconut aminos. So I'm a little sad because I have sour, like that sauerkraut, but I can't get it open and Asher's not home. So I'm just gonna have to wait. And my avocados aren't ripe, but you can really do anything with this and you just load it up with stuff and it's so satiating so many different flavors happening so good and so good for you okay so when it came to what i decided to buy for groceries and what i was going to eat during the week i've never done this before so but i kept thinking about it so i was just like okay i'm gonna lean into it i'm gonna go for it and i went and looked up what was seasonal for where i live in the season that i was in and i can definitely put that website that i looked it up on down below so the radishes the bell peppers all of those different things are in season where i'm at i just started thinking about it and it makes a lot of sense like you are getting foods that are more more or less effortlessly growing around you you know what i mean like it's not like someone is having to make 
make them grow because they usually grow in the winter but we need them in the summer but you're getting things that naturally come up in the summer i can only imagine that it would be you know more nutrient dense and just better for you i don't actually know that's just my brain so anyways i wanted to try it out and so the different meals that i created i really just got high quality animal products some type of meat and then i did the seasonal veggies so for dinner i like put it in the pan and sauteed it and you know ate a warm version of it but at work i don't really love using microwave so i just had a cold version basically every dish that i'm making with this lunch and dinner i'm just tweaking a little bit but it is full of flavor and i just got a bunch of vegetables chopped it all up and it's so easy for me to make these meals throughout the week but overall the goal is simple ingredients that are packed with nutrients and packed with flavor so i'm not getting bored but i'm also getting a ton of different benefits for my body my energy my mood all of the things and look how freaking beautiful my lunch salad is it's very similar to what i made for dinner last night but it is kind of like a cold version so i have arugula that i didn't saute with the sauerkraut carrots some of the sweet potatoes that i soaked and then baked olives the peppers and the cucumbers radish i'm gonna put hemp seeds on top of it um as well as everything but the bagel seasoning and then for my dressing i'm probably just gonna do coconut aminos because I love coconut aminos and it gives it such a good flavor so super simple but it's like packed with nutrients which is what we're going for and here is your friendly reminder because we all need it sometimes that you are not a robot you are a human that has been designed to process emotions process thoughts and so you have to make space for yourself and i just feel like it's so easy to put that on the back burner or to forget that it's needed in the hustle and bustle of life so whatever you can do to actually process and make space for yourself whether it be going on a walk and just allowing your brain to think, not listening to music, or maybe listening to music and being inspired, or talking to yourself under your breath when no one else is around, or writing things out, or typing things out. Giving yourself space and then validating what maybe you're feeling, or what you're having a hard time with, or what you're even excited about. Just the whole spectrum of things that comes with being a human is never gonna be in vain, and it's always gonna be essential. So I like to do that in one way or another. I kind of just go with whatever I'm feeling that day and make sure that I'm really present with my heart and my mind, because the more that I do that, and the more that I understand about what's going on inside of me, the more that A, I'm able to show up for myself and be it communicated to the people around me like if I'm having a hard time I'm able to let Asher in on that or or if I'm feeling really excited and stuff I'm also able to let him in on that and that's where connection happens which is obviously something that we all need we all crave we all want more of so make sure that you're intentionally giving yourself space throughout the week okay guys and now I am just gonna wrap this up with getting ready for bed I have been super intentional with getting the most best quality sleep that i can possibly get um so i'm not going to go into all of the details because i literally just made a nighttime routine but i'll tag it right here so if you haven't seen it yet and you want to know all the details of what i do to wind down then i would encourage you to watch that i really wanted to keep everything simple because if you're not feeling your best i feel like it can be a little bit counterproductive to overcomplicate things and feel anxious about trying to feel better but i just want to encourage you if you aren't feeling your best i would just reevaluate these three areas in your life how is your sleep how is your body movement are you getting movement in through the day and also what are you eating those are kind of the three areas that i look at am i getting quality sleep am i actually being able to get into a deep sleep every night i'm really focused on winding down in the evening and getting my melatonin production up with low lighting again I would encourage you to watch my nighttime routine video if you haven't seen that yet. Movement, am I getting movement throughout the day each day? Our bodies need movement. So if you can get outside and get some vitamin D and move your body, or maybe you go to a gym, whatever you can do to get your body moving, at least a few times a week will be highly beneficial. And also, what are you eating and drinking? What are you consuming? Because your food and drink intake have such a big effect on how you're gonna feel. So make sure you're getting some whole ingredients, some real ingredients, not just a bunch of process things i hope this video helps if you have any tips and tricks that you do when you're feeling down make sure you drop them down below i would love to hear everyone's perspectives and maybe your perspective could be really helpful to someone else if you haven't already like i said make sure you watch my nighttime routine video to see how i get the most optimal sleep thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you next time